Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brox. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. You are up to the birthdays, which will have come up in about 17 minutes. And my peace in the last 15 minutes, pardon me, in the last 15 minutes of the show. And then the altar go on the last five minutes of this segment and each and every segment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We got some things coming up. Amen, amen, amen. Next week is the first annual Chicago Gospel Music Award. And it's uh, at the House of Hope venue. Um, and it's hosted by Pastor John Hanna and Angela Martin. Praise the Lord. They used to have a radio show together on AM 1390. And uh, here is, uh, we have someone uh, that um, we play on the show, Nikki Young. I'm going to tell you, Nikia Young. And you might, uh, you heard her yesterday, but she is, she has been nominated for an award. So definitely, you guys love her music. If you're hearing it for the first time, awesome. Uh, go check her out, get some tickets. She's not performing, but, you know, show your love, show your support and whatnot. Um this is Victorious One by Nakia Young.
Jones, baby. <laughs> it's what I do. It's who I am. God's child, what?
I've been waiting for this one. God over money by Chase Spears. You heard him um, on air uh, on his uh, interview 
um, on June 4th. It's about the time for the birthday. Amen. If today is your birthday. Happiest of birthdays to you. Remember what I always say. Um, be blessed. Remember your birthday. Be sober. It is good to be sober. Being sober is an awesome, awesome thing. And I want to happy want to say happy birthday to Antoine as well as um um uh, I don't know the wrong as well as some other famous people here. We make them famous. Amen. 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 Uh, Antoine's birthday is today, but uh, there was someone's birthday that was yesterday that I wanted to mention, and I drew a, a blank on her name because she had a long title in front of it. <laughs> So it's um First Lady Christine Kirkwood. Alright. So you guys that know her, go say happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. She's celebrating her fiftieth birthday tomorrow. We have some people that have a birthday today. Ryan Higa, Robert England, Gianna Michaels, uh Jason Isaac, Stephen Vay, Nikki Baker, uh Paul Giamatti, Tom Araya. And uh, Max Costello. All right. So today is your birthday. Then definitely happiest of birthdays to you. Remember, be blessed and get yourself a designated walker, designated driver, because we want to see you tomorrow and every day after. Amen. Amen. You absolutely matter. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday and you matter. You matter. You bring. Tons of joy to all the people that you love Your words and thoughts and feelings matter, you matter Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you It's your birthday day today This is dedicated to you Birthday, you already know you were born on this day many moons ago. So we want to take some time to appreciate somebody who we all agree is great. Yeah, we're talking about you and though we didn't forget the cake for a friend who we're glad we've met. Now since we all got together, let's sound the horn and celebrate that day that you were born. It's your birthday. And since we're all here, we want to say happy birthday and all say cheers on your birthday. And since you're right here, we want to say happy birthday. Have another great year. It's your birthday. On your birthday. On your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah. You gotta have a good birthday. Right? Let's make that happen. Wear that funny hat. Get the kazoos out. Cut the cake. Let's do this. All right. Celebrate a good birthday today. And we got my piece coming up right after this. Here's Daryl Boyer and Shine. Yeah. 
Hey, this is Kathy Brock of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, I just bumped my knees. Okay. All right. So, uh... (laughs) My piece, my piece is this. Uh, yesterday I ran into someone who uh, seemed okay at first and then he started talking about Jesus. I'm like, okay, and talking about how he was angry with God. Um, I thought he was lying from the beginning. But, um, <clears throat> like I said before, whether somebody's lying or not, it's not so much as my concern as for what they say because in every lie there is some truth and he began to say uh, the rapture is not real people will not be raptured and then he also said that um, he's been possessed by five demons and delivered he also says that he heard voices coming from a record that he was playing and uh, he says that God moves his hand to turn him to Bible scriptures um, rather than speaking to him. He says sometimes God speaks to him, but so he was saying um, many, many of things. Uh, I didn't realize that things were like that um, while I was talking to him initially. But I tried to explain to him that Jesus is Lord, that. Um, Because he had said that his mother had uh, the saying, he calls it a blessing. uh, Because uh, I guess she could see things or talk to the dead or whatever. Talking to the dead is called necrophilia. Um, That's not a good thing. And um, I was trying to explain to him that what he has is generational. And it's called a generational curse. But he wasn't really trying to hear that. Let me tell you some of the names of uh, the enemy. His name is Satan. That's one. And uh, when you look, you you can see that his before he fell, his name was Lucifer. You see that in Isaiah 14 and 12, Ezekiel 28, 12 through 14. Um, and he fell. Lucifer fell because because he became um, arrogant and he wanted to take God's place. And um, he became Satan, uh, became the ruler of the of the world of this world and the prince of power of the air, because he was trying to say that you can uh, see that things like uh, something's wrong with the uh, because of the weather. Now that part was true. However, he said it was God's fault that there is tragedy and that there is death, and that every bad thing that happens is Jesus's fault. That's not true. Um, remember, Satan is an accuser. He's a tempter. He's a deceiver. Uh, his name means the adversary or one who opposes. Another title uh, is the devil, which means slanderer. The sinful world is Satan's domain. The ruler of um, see here, the ruler of this world, uh, a fallen man, the unsaved. You see that in John 12, 31, 14, 31, and 16 and 11. Um, he also goes by the name of Prince of Power, the God of this world. Um, he promises uh, the world to those who will obey him, in which he can't. I mean, it's all deception. And his domain is a sinful world under evil power. And, uh,. God is more powerful than Satan. You'll see that in 1 John 4 and 4. Uh, And Satan rules the world through deception and sin not legitimately uh, by God. You'll see that in Revelation 12 and 9. He also goes by, Satan also goes by devil, Belial, enemy, serpent, Satan, tempter, ruler of demons, adversary, strong man, angel of bottomless pit, murderer, great red dragon, and liar, and uh, father of lies. He, he actually goes, but those are his names. 
you cannot put your trust in demons. If you are hearing things that you know are out of place, you know it's something demonic. You better start praying and calling on Jesus and calling on your church family. You you need a church family. You need a church home. That the pastor is there uh, to help give instructions. Uh, the structure of the demonic is Lucifer, Jezebel, death and hell, Antichrist. All right. And there's more to that. You can get that, get this from uh, the Augusta School, a regional school of ministry through uh, Bishop Tudor Bismarck. Now, I got some scriptures for you. And I realize I'm running out of time here. I got some scriptures for you that tells you about the rapture because uh, some people believe, like this man was believing, uh, that the rapture is not coming. It is. It's called the second coming of Jesus Christ. You see that in Matthew 24, 36, which says, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Mark 13, 26 and 27. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds from the farthest part of the earth to the farthest part of heaven. Luke, um, then you have Luke 12, uh, 12 35 through 40. Um, <clears throat> Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. And, and you yourselves be like men who want for their master when he will return from the wedding that when he comes and knocks they may open to him immediately. Now, uh, this man also said he called uh, Jehovah Master. So he was, uh, I really believe that there was some demon speaking to him. Uh, and he started to get loud and scream and get upset. Because I, I was simply listening trying to tell him that Jesus is Lord. And there is no other. And um, that he did have a demonic spirit. And he, and he feels as though because he uses some of the names of God that, you know, he's fully delivered and saved and he don't need church. He don't need a pastor. And um, so anyway, uh, pray for people like that. He needs help. Um, I gave him some names like uh, the Creflo Dollar Men's Ministry, Kenneth Copeland Men's Ministry, uh, Bill Winston's uh, Men's Ministry. Just go so he could go and talk to other men. Um, and get some help, you know, some deliverance, and get some understanding because he was trying to present the gospel and he truly had no foundation to present the gospel. And he was just spouting words. So, and kind of yelling and screaming. And know this, just because you yell and scream, that don't mean that you're presenting the gospel correctly. It just means you're yelling and screaming. It means you're getting upset. When you present the gospel, God gives you peace that no matter what people say to you, you don't even get angry. I have that peace. I ain't bothered to get angry. I didn't. God fights my battles. It wasn't worth me getting angry over. So, I've had my foundation and I've, I've like I said before, I've had my evangelism foundation as well. So, I can tell you that, you know, he doesn't have peace and he needs peace. And definitely pray for him. And pray for every, you know, all folks like them that are, believe that it's okay to talk to the devil, to argue with the devil. I tell you this, argue with the devil, that's what he wants. Because when you start arguing and screaming, you get out of peace. And he, that's the one thing you want to do. He want to take you out of your peace. Once he gets you out of your peace, he'll get you out of your faith. Yeah. He even had him cursing God. And then he said that the devil told him, I'm going to have your soul. Now that statement was correct. And you know why that was correct? Because if you are not with me, you are against me. That's what the word says. So he wasn't with him. But, and then the guy says, well, I told him that I'm still a child of the Most High God. Not if you are cursing God. You need to repent and give your life to him. And don't speak to the devil. Remember the Bible says, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Don't take the time to argue. If you hearing some voice and it's talking all crazy, ignore it. Don't take the time to argue. No, really. He says, oh, he was sleeping when it happened. Okay. All the more reason. Now your sleep is holy. 
So now your sleep is being interrupted. So I know there's many, I mention this because I know there's many other people that experience these things. And you really got to know that and understand that Jesus is Lord. And there, there is none other. There is none greater than him. And he paid the price for us already. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. We ain't got no cause to argue with no demon or no devil. None. God already won the battle. So what you fighting over? You fighting over a soul that is yours that already belongs to God? If you know you say, do what God says. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. If you say anything, you only speak the word of God. That's it. Alright? Alright. If you have never been saved, now is the time to do so. If you are backslidden and you want to return to Jesus Christ, now is the time to do so. Amen. We can do it together. Let's repent of our sins and receive the free gift of salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to letgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. And begin. Some of you are saved on LUTG Radio. Praise the Lord. And uh, <laughs> Barack is a part of the LUTG Radio Network. Follow me to the next segment. Uh, we got um, the vocabulary ministry minutes and an interview with uh, Legacy coming up. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I.